Hello, welcome to our study of alcohols. Alcohols are compounds of general formula ROH or CNH2N plus 1OH. This can be represented in structure as follows. And from here, we can get a definition for alcohols. We call an alcohol a compound in which an OH group, hydroxyl group, is attached to a saturated carbon atom, which is this. So this carbon atom is described as saturated, and that makes this compound an alcohol. On the other hand, we have a group of compounds that resemble the alcohols, but are not alcohols. They also have the OH or hydroxyl group, just like the alcohols. But in their case, the alcohol group or OH group is attached to an aromatic ring. When we have such compounds, we call them phenols. And of all the different phenols we know, there is phenol itself. This is phenol itself. It has the OH attached to a benzene ring. Then, having shown that phenols have their OH on aromatic rings, whereas some alcohols have their OH on aliphatic chains, see this compound. This kind of compound is called an enol. Enols are bifunctional, that is, they have two functional groups. And the two functional groups you are seeing here are the carbon to carbon double bond, in, and then the OH group, all. So for that, we call them enols. Some persons call them the full name alkenols. So alkenols or enols are compounds that have the OH attached to one of the two carbons that have the double bond between them. Now, leaving enols and phenols and coming back to alcohols, you see that the carbon bearing the OH has three other things attached to it, X, Y, Z. We'll give those meaning very soon. But for now, I'd like to say that there are different types of alcohols depending on the number of OH groups that are attached or present in the alcohol. If we see an alcohol, how many OH groups does it have? Depending on the number of OH groups, we could classify alcohols into the monohydrics, the dihydrics, and the polyhydrics. Polyhydrics have three and above, although sometimes those alcohols that have three OH groups are called trihydric. So we'll take trihydric for this, but polyhydric will also go for it. But this is monohydric. Why do we call this monohydric? Because it has only one OH in its structure, in its formula. But in this other case, we have two OH present. So we say this alcohol is a dihydric alcohol. Yes, dihydric alcohol. Such compounds are called diols. So a diol is a dihydric alcohol and they are also called glycols. So the glycols are the diols. Then for the triols, yeah, we can have a triol, and if you decide to call this a polyhydric alcohol, it will be very fine to call it a polyol. So polyols are alcohols that are polyhydric. They have more than two OH groups. Now, for the monohydric alcohols, monohydrics only, they can further be classified as primary, secondary, or tertiary. Now that does not apply to dihydrics or polyhydrics. So if an alcohol is dihydric, it will have no business with primary, secondary, tertiary. That only works for monohydric alcohols. Now having said so, let's look at this representation that we put up before. Yeah, X, Y, Z. What are X, Y, and Z? If for example, I make my Z an aromatic ring, would that be a phenol? No. It won't be a phenol because the OH is not attached to the ring. Instead, all of this is attached to the ring. Or you say the OH is attached to a carbon atom which is attached to the ring. Until the OH finds direct attachment to the ring, we don't have a phenol. So this is not a phenol. It is not an aromatic alcohol. Instead, it is aliphatic. Now back to XYZ. Once we see an alcohol that is monohydric and we are able to take care of the carbon that binds the OH this way, we discover that there are three more bonds to look at, one, two, three. And we simply ask ourselves, of these three bonds, how many lead us to carbon? If only one leads us to carbon, maybe the other two lead us to hydrogen like this, we say that this alcohol is primary. 
But if two lead us to carbon, we say the alcohol is secondary. And if all three of them lead us to carbon, we say the alcohol is tertiary. So let's try this alcohol. Let's try to see what class this alcohol would belong to. Let's say I draw an alcohol like this and I ask you, remember we have hydrogen at all these points. So I'm asking you now, what kind of alcohol with this? Or is this, into what class would you put it? Well, if you isolate the carbon bearing the OH like this, you discover that that carbon still has one, two, three bonds. And the question now is, of those three bonds, how many lead us to carbon? This leads us to H. Those two lead us to C and C. So this alcohol would be secondary. Now it may be worthy of note that in terms of acidity, primary alcohols are the most acidic. They are more acidic than secondary and secondary more acidic than tertiary. Then in terms of solubility, it's the reverse. For solubility, we have tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary but in all this bear in mind please that phenol is more acidic than all alcohols phenols are more acidic than alcohols generally speaking now in terms of nomenclature in terms of how we name alcohols i'll tell you about that after the break